Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27 to September 2nd 2018 <clears throat> Now before we start with the Tarot reading, if you want a personal reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down below in the description of this video and as this is the end of the summer, I'm running summer sales for the 30 minutes purchase automatically become a 40 minute one so, uh, <clears throat> the first position of the tarot spread for you, Geminis, will represent the topic for your week. The second position is about the core of the situation. Third position uh, will give us an understanding of uh, the predicaments you have to cope with uh, for the duration of the week. And the last card, it is about the guidance that you um, that the, the tarot is advising you to follow. So... <clears throat> Let's see what we do have for you now. The first card, that will be the Page of Swords. When the Page of Swords comes as a topic of the week, it does look like that you will have some collisions with um, with different people, especially um, <clears throat> if you are a um, highly socializing person person, you know, uh, a person who likes to spend time among others. This card rather points to um, meaningless, uh, meaningless arguments, unnecessary arguments, unnecessary fights, you know, unnecessary as well, hostility, if you may say it that way. You know, this card usually refers to um, differences in one's point of view with the point of view of others and that could refer to uh, that could manifest in many ways of course now um, it could manifest in um, <clears throat> in a different ideas about how one friendship or how one project should move on forward to the to the differences in the approach that couple of people want to take on toward a particular undertaking. Now, when we do have the Page of Swords, however, as a topic of the week, this card could manifest as a, uh, a, a as a positive standpoint in the sense of that you will have the chance during this particular week to make so-called the spring cleaning to wipe out you know some negative influences from your um, <clears throat> from your environment as well to um, relieve yourself from some burdensome, uh, burdensome thoughts and as well to seek a certain truth because uh, when the page of swords is in a topic of uh, of the reading then um, the person itself, or in this case you Geminis, will find it very easy for the duration of the week to distinguish uh, the truth from the fiction. Therefore, you will be able to kind of reach to the bottom of whatever uh, situation you want to penetrate through, you know, which, with much more ease. Now, the core of the situation to it... <clears throat> will be the nine of wands or this card also represents why you know the uh, topic is happening now as we do have the nine of uh, wands uh, this card signifies that you have start you you have started to force a, a certain differences uh, or uh, you have started altering a a certain um, approaches and as well as certain standpoints and under altering I mean that you have created some sort of distortion or some sort of unpredictable behavior from your behalf therefore the people were not feeling um, quite uh, the people are not seeing you quite consistent here and they are starting to lose let's say trust of um, of which side you are on or as well what you are trying to achieve at the end so people may start thinking here for the duration of the week that you do have something 
behind your mind or you are having as well some surreptitious intentions toward the undertaking and toward the, the agenda in general but this is because the people around you cannot understand your point of view and cannot understand where you're coming from as well and that is exactly with what forces as I said the pointless arguments and the pointless fights and scandals for some of you because um, you know, either someone will try to swirl you into a direction you don't want to go or you're going to go into a direction that someone doesn't want you to go that way, all right? So it's kind of like there is a uh, <clears throat> there is a, uh, a lack of synergy of what people want you to do and what you want to do for yourself as well. And because you are now starting to do something about it by creating a certain changes into your environment here because the Nine of Wands is about creating the conscious changes into your environment like restructuring your home changing your routine you know as well you know changing the methods you work changing your um <clears throat> your working desk as well or you're now sitting on a different desk that you were sitting until right now changing your phone number if you want to say it that way now that kind of aggravates people around you because you become a little bit more unpredictable than before and they can't have the same control they had um <clears throat> they had over you in the past then especially for the romantic relationship now this state kind of uh, provokes a a huge arguments in between you and your partner and probably your partner will confront you with what is wrong with you Sne oh excuse me sneeze alert was about to say so <clears throat> The challenges that you have to face here for the duration of the week. Now, this is going to be the, the person or in general that card points the people that stands in front of you. Now, <clears throat> what we what we can see here is truly the lack of the lack of understanding that other people can see uh can see behind your um your thoughts and as well behind your actions cuz the, uh, the this is the difference in between these couple of cards right in between the page of wands which it stands for you and the knight of uh, the page of swords excuse me and the knight of swords standing for the others now the page of swords is much more open minded than, than the night than the knight of swords the page of swords somehow seek its own truth you know the page of swords somehow has that independable thought and it's ready to discover the knowledge of the world while the knight of swords already discovered the knowledge for himself and now the knight of swords is pushing forward for the his particular knowledge so these couple of cards here speaks that you are uh, your actions by finding the new truth for yourself either for your relationship or either for your career are making you act differently again than the people expect from you to act and the people will confront that and the challenge here you know is to stand your ground to kind of resist and deflect as well this it's not really attack but let's say persistence from the others around you and it should be a piece of cake for you Gemini's to resist that um, it's not even an opposition but um, let's say uh, demands from others to know what true intentions are and uh, <clears throat> Basically, you can do so by being elaborative and by being uh, much more um, systematic with your explanation of what you're trying to do and how. What well, That is the key here, how you're planning to do it. And the last card here will represent the guidance that you should obtain. Now, that will be the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, it's a very general, very broad card in that particular case. Now, many people associate the Four of Cups with boredom, but the Four of Cups is when one is consuming the last efficiency of, of, uh, of their actions and the, la and the very final rewards from their, uh, from their undertaking. Therefore, when we have the Four of cups as a um, guidance here we need to start thinking about what follows up next so this card advises you to think two steps ahead and be very very calculative regarding you know regarding your actions and what kind of a precautionary measures you're going to take so you can avoid again the lack of synergy in one's thoughts and in and in one's um 
not really understanding but com uh, comprehensive um, assimilation of what the surroundings are because this is what happens here by looking at these cuts you know you may kind of accept your relationship with your partner one way but your partner uh, is understanding it in a different way and a common ground of understanding can be reached when you are elaborative and when you uh, really explain very well toward what end you are behaving a little bit differently from what you had behaved until this very moment and now the Lenormand cards here uh, that we do have this is going to be uh, the whip and the broom followed by the clouds followed by the clover so the whip and the broom is about uh, again fights arguments conflicts you know opposal the uh, the clouds are about one uh, one is deviated from the right path clouded decision uh, clouded vision excuse me here clouded judgment as well vagueness confusion and the clover is about the uh, is uh, regards to abated reason so these cards here of the Lenormand reading are approval that you are going to argue over something that seemingly is very um, valuable something that seems from a, a great value of you and of your partner you know opinion or idea and in reality further into the week here you're going to understand that it is much it, its meaning is much abated its value is much um, lower than you uh, initially anticipated of therefore you and your partner you and your business partner as well you and your co-worker or boss family member etc etc will drop off the uh, tomahawks of war and you're going to make peace realizing that fighting isn't simply worth it over the rewards which are we close to zero when one furthest down the road because here the clouds are showing you know that because the clover is very small success the clover is very small luck or a very small benefits and because we do have the clouds that makes the clover seems a, a very big reason you know it, it seems a, a very big rewards while they aren't so that will make you uh, as i said you and your opposition or the person you are fighting with drop off the charges drop off all of the charges and as well uh kind of abandon any kind of uh, prerequisite of conflict that uh, you and them have created until this very moment so that being said gemini's this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for august 27 to september 2nd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it rat signing out now See you next time. Bye.